Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and another video about the OSCE exam for pharmacists and uh, in today's video I'm planning to uh, discuss with you a new case um, um, that might, you might uh, encounter in the OSCE exam for pharmacists and for those of you who um, are new here uh, this channel is all about how to become a clinical pharmacist, how to pass the OSCE exams if you're planning to move to Canada and uh, uh, take the uh, uh, the qualifying exams and, and the evaluating exams if you're an international pharmacist. So if this is something that interests you, make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, activate the bell so that you get notified of uh, future videos. Uh, so um, like we did before, I'm going to uh, bring up to you a uh, um, a case that I made up and uh, um, we're going to uh, go through the case together and uh, uh, decide how to uh, 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 how to solve such cases because you know in the OSCE you only have seven minutes and no matter how much reading you do before the OSCE exam it's not going to help you uh, tackle those cases so you need practice 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 and I keep saying that to uh, uh, my students I keep telling them that you have to practice a lot before the exam and and practice is the key to pass the OSCE it's not reading you can read as much as you want you can memorize as many guidelines as you want it's not going to help you as much as practice will so let's practice together this is another case um, that I brought to you today and let's get started So as you may have known or you may have heard, there will be uh, some instructions on um, the door, uh, the station's door. And for those of you who are completely new to the OSCE, the OSCE is a practical exam that you uh, walk from one station to another. And there will be some instructions on the door like this one in front of you here uh, on the screen. Uh, it will tell you a little bit uh, of a brief about the case you're about to encounter just to give you a, um, a hint it's not going to help you solve the case but it gives you a hint on what what to expect and how to uh, tackle the case to help you solve the case within seven minutes okay um, as opposed to not knowing anything and walking into the station and and getting um, uh, surprised <laughs> and shocked with what's happening so yeah this gives you a little bit of a hand and um, in today's case the instructions are as you enter the station take a seat at the desk and wait for the actor to come in the actor is a patient's dad who has some concerns and would like to speak to the pharmacist okay now we know that we're gonna have a male actor who is uh, acting as a patient's dad so he'll be speaking on behalf of his uh, son or daughter uh, who are probably not uh, yeah, probably not old enough to speak for themselves so they're probably a pediatric patient uh, uh, so that gives you a little bit of a hint on what the uh, what the situation could be make sure to address the pa the parents uh, concerns and counsel him appropriately okay so this is a counseling case okay they gave you the hint right there address the concerns and counsel the parent that's all you need to do and and that helps because you might walk in and th and think okay maybe i should um, recommend medications maybe i should uh talk about how to use um um something else that is not a medication something that is non-pharmacological um so yeah they, they want you to address the concerns and counsel the patient they didn't, didn't really give you uh, a lot of information to help you solve the case you still don't know what's going to happen right and then it says you have seven minutes to solve the station you will hear a buzzer after five minutes through the case and again at seven minutes once you hear the last buzzer leave everything in the room except your paper and pencil and leave the station immediately and this is basically how oski um stations work at, at the second bu buzzer you have to leave the station and the actor will leave as well even if you continue to talk they won't listen to you they'll just leave all right, let's take a look at what's happening here. Entering the station. Now you enter the station 
and as soon as you enter you take your seat at the desk and uh, you'll see the following on the desk okay so I gave you some uh, uh, data here so the first one 